my new motorcycle gear and by that I wanted to introduce as well the let's call it fun format or something like that. So as you can see that's my current old and I would say kind of low end or starter gear. I mean pretty good gear anyway and about six years now. But there we have the new one and first of all here the HL uh, if I wouldn't know that there is just stuff which cannot be broken easily in that box I would have rejected that. I mean come on squash like that that shouldn't be. But anyway, since it's multiple here it won't get broken and easy. I opened it already, but I didn't have a look into it yet. So let's have a look. I actually ordered um, the Revit Scent 2. And uh, let's see what we got here. Paperwork. And there we go. Quite nice though. Um, but let's continue. What else we have? We have the gloves, which somehow look like the wrong color. So we have the paperwork here. Um, yep, they are wrong color. Doesn't look like. Silver black looks more like silver blue. But anyway, uh, let's see what we have as well. The important thing oh, we have a jacket. Really, really, really nice. But as I see again, that doesn't look much like orange, I would say. Alright, let's have a look at paperwork again. Um, yeah, silver red, it's supposed to be. And it's actually silver white. So I think I really have to give the guys a call tomorrow. But let's see, what else we got? The hip protector is quite important if you crash. And ah, the cooling vest. Well, I won't need it right now, but still good to have it for summer. So I have to wait a bit to see. And that's it so far. Let's get rid of the box. And actually, let's get rid of the old stuff as well. Here, the gloves, the cooling vest, the trousers, and the um, hip connectors. Basically, what I noticed uh, or what I think is that the jacket might have the back protector missing. Of course, it feels like it's not there. What I noticed as well with the trousers, or not sure yet, it is an M size, but I ordered a long M. I'm not sure if it just doesn't state long M or if it might be a wrong delivery as well. But we will see that later on. Of course, if it's not a long one, you will see that it just reaches up to here or something. And obviously, the main of the trousers where I got the tip protectors for. Open them up as well. They... Ah, there has a cable tie. Alright. So I will get a scissor. Oh no, I think I have a knife over here. 
you. Ah, great. Great preparation. So, there we go. Improvement 
on the next generation of the Century then or something. But all in all, it feels really nice and really warm. I have to say, actually quite a bit too warm since I'm in a closed room and I have everything on. The gloves go back for sure. And what I noticed as well, why I didn't manage to put in the cooling vest, just to remind you, it's that one. It's because the cooling vest is XL and the jacket is basically an L. So the cooling vest will go back as well. And the missing back protector, well, I'm pretty sure they will send it then with the other stuff together. So, just a quick update. For the past four days, I tried now contacting the seller via email and phone calls, but so far, unfortunately, with no success. And, I mean, it's not really acceptable. Nearly a whole wrong delivery, and I'm not getting back on the phone calls or emails. But, the good thing is, I paid via PayPal, so I put open the dispute over there, and let's see if they either reply there or I get my money back from PayPal or anything. But it was the first and for sure last time I ordered from bikeblog.com. Uh, actually, it's not blog like a blogger, but BLOC. I will put the link in the video description and I hope you avoid this shop as well. As soon as I have done finally all the matching gear together, I will test it out for a couple of days and I will make another full review video with all the advantages and disadvantages and how it feels riding it. And even since it's quite rainy at the moment and will stay like that for a while, I can even test if it's properly waterproof or not. So you can look forward for that video already. And by the way, if you notice this weird flickering on the sofa, if anyone has any idea where this comes from, it would be so cool if you put it in the comments. Of course, I tried different camera settings and didn't manage to get rid of it, so that's pretty weird somehow. And yeah, obviously, would be pretty cool to get some feedback as well if you like the new format, if I should do more of it, or if I better should just stick to political talk as usual. Uh, well. That's it for that video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you still didn't subscribe, now you have even two reasons to subscribe. There will be the political mode of vlog and there will be some fun videos like reviews or I don't know, showing a setup or something more of the bike, whatever you like to see. So I see you in the next video.